Hey guys, I know y'all ain't seen me in a while. <laughs> um, today, husband and I decided that we didn't want to wait anymore. I am 39 weeks and hold on, 39 weeks and three days. My due date is this upcoming Thursday, and um, we have a lot of stuff to do um next week so we just kind of want to be settled rather than still waiting around so we want to take matters into our own hands um it took a minute to convince him that you know <laughs> this was safe and if my body is ready then it'll send me into labor if my body is not ready then it just won't work which is fine we would just have to wait but yeah um i've been doing a lot of other things too to send me in you not send me into labor but to get prepared for labor i've been eating dates since 34 weeks and i've been um doing the em uh, evening primrose oil both orally and vaginally since 36 weeks so i'm already dilated to a two almost three which was maybe three weeks ago so i think that it's going to work um I didn't record myself making the stuff because um, there is more than enough videos on YouTube where the people are making it, they drink it, and then they never come back with results. I figured you guys didn't want to see me make it. You guys actually want to see me, um, you know, what's going to happen after I drink it. Um, I'll insert the recipe somewhere on the screen somewhere so you guys can see um, what's in it. And you just put it in a blender and you blend all the ingredients together and you drink it. You have to drink it within, um, I believe it's 20 minutes. You have to drink all of it straight down within 20 minutes of starting from finish, uh, start to finish. And then you wait a few hours and hopefully some contractions will start. Um, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here doing laundry. I'm sitting on a bed and I have mountains of clothes that I'm about to fold. So they're all washed up and I just dumped them all on the bed so I'm about to fold them. And then once I start feeling something or something starts happening, I will come back and let you guys know what's happening. Okay, so I just finished it. I wanted to tell you guys how it tastes. Let's first start off saying by saying I did not put it on ice. Most people usually like pour it over some ice or whatever. I didn't do that. Um, and they do that because of the tea, the lemon verbena tea. The tea is warm. And then when you put it in there, it just makes everything else warm. I just drink it warm, whatever. I didn't um, feel like putting the ice because once I put the ice, I would have had to use a bigger cup. And then I would have had two cups. It was just too much. So I just, whatever, drink it um warm um it didn't taste bad i just didn't like it's like has like a really creamy aftertaste like i was expecting it to be like juice but it was more like a warm coffee type situation it's like the juice part tastes like juice but then afterwards you have like a coffee type of cream whatever i don't know it wasn't nasty though, but I um, drank all of it. This is the cup I used. And it was filled up all the way to like the berm line. And it left like a nasty residue inside the cup. Ew. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I started at 2.20. And now it's 3.34. So it took me almost about 15 minutes to do it. Um, I got it all down. And it's not really like nasty, like it's not like that, like you know what I mean? And I'm guessing because it was warm, I didn't get that um, waxy taste from the castor oil. Some people still say that it can taste like the, like you know, the waxiness from the castor oil. Not me, I didn't taste that. I think it's because it was, you know, warm, you know, oil gets a little thinner when you heat it up or whatever. But yeah. Um, so, I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting here still chilling, folding clothes. 
um, I'll let you guys know when I get my first contraction. Like how long it was from me drinking it to it actually working. Um, a lot of people say that it's, it doesn't send them to the bathroom, but I'm hoping that it does because um, my whole pregnancy I've just been constipated and I haven't gone poop in like maybe like three days. And I went to a party last night and I had a lot of food. I'd rather poop now than to be pooping when it's time to push. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it send me to the bathroom maybe not like a diarrhea type situation you know from the castor oil or whatever but you know just a bowel movement um but yeah i'll come back when i have my first contraction okay so i'm just sitting here thinking like a lot of people say that with this their water broke um i'm sitting on my husband's side of the bed so if my water breaks it's going to be freaking hilarious he's going to be so pissed I have like those chuck pads or like the pee pads whatever and I'm thinking maybe I should go get one and put it under me so I don't <laughs> wet his side of the bed. Ah, I just thought that I should say that. It was just funny to me. <laughs> hey guys, so um, right now it's 5 o'clock um, and I've been pooping the entire time since like... probably like four I've been pooping so four, well for an hour um I didn't fold any of the clothes I was supposed to fold <laughs> right after I drank it I felt sleepy so I laid just lay here and try to take a nap but it didn't work out but um I don't have any like stomach cramps or anything but I do have diarrhea um I feel like I have like a little bit of a break right now before the last hour I have not been able to get any relief um when I did get up off the toilet a piece of my mucus plug came out no blood or anything so it was just a little piece so um maybe it just was a little portion of it and the rest of it will come out later but um I'm still having my normal Brexton Hicks. I have consistent regular black Brexton Hicks. At least like 12 an hour. So, um, they don't feel, they feel a little bit stronger than my Brexton Hicks, but I can't really say contraction. Like, I can't say that yet. They, they don't hurt. They're not painful. I just feel the tightening and it's kind of like, you know, squeezing my bladder, but nothing painful or serious or anything um what else i think i'm gonna go down and get on the birthing ball for a little bit i do feel like like when i stood up to get off the toilet i do feel like she's a lot lower now she hasn't dropped but now i feel like she's lower into my pelvis now um so i'm gonna get on the birthing ball and bounce and see if that'll bring on some stronger contractions um again it's five o'clock and that's my update i'll holler at you guys um when something else starts to happen okay it is now 5 24 and i believe i just had my first real contraction maybe i don't know um when i say i don't know it's because i really don't know what the heck i just felt um started off like my usual Brexton contractions you know with the tightening in my stomach and in my bladder and then there was like a stabbing sharp pain in my bladder as if somebody was trying to like puncture it or something it lasted for about a minute and a half and then it released I always was under the impression that contractions were in your stomach so I don't know if it really was or not but uh, that's what I just felt at 524. Um, I'm scared to get up to go pee. Because I have no idea if it's going to hurt or not. Like, that's how bad it was. Um, but yeah. I'll come back when something else happens. Alright, y'all. So, I'm in the bathroom again. Um, and I think I'm having contractions. Um. 
It's like Braxton Hicks contractions, you know, the tightening or whatever. But I'm definitely starting to feel a lot of pressure low. And it feels, I can't, I'm trying to describe how it feels. It feels, the problem is I can tolerate a lot of pain. So I'm not sure if it's just like, um, like if I should be describing it as a mild pain. I don't know. But it's just like tightening and then there's pressure too at the same time like on, you know, my hoo-ha. <laughs> um, then like at the peak of it, I'm getting like a stabbing sensation in my cervix. Sort of like how my ovulation pains were. So I'm going to say that they're contractions. Um, I'm not too sure because I never ever had contractions before. So I'm going with that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's about 7.15 now, and I had about two or three of those. They're back-to-back. -back. I can't even, like, count to see how much time, like, how far apart they are. But that's just always how my Braxton Hicks were. They would come back-to-back -back for a little while, and then they would go away. So I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I think I'm going to wait a little bit more before I start timing them, and then I'll come back and let you guys know how far apart they are. Okay, it's now 7.52, and I can definitely say for sure that these are contractions. They're about two minutes apart, and they're coming fast. Um, I can still talk through them. I can still walk through them, but they're two minutes apart. Um, I know that with the midwives brew, labor can compress. Ooh. Can um, progress fast. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are definitely contractions now. So, I've been having them for almost an hour, I guess. Because last time, I think they started like around 7.15. So, at 8.15, it'll be about an hour. Um, that they'll be consistent. So, um, that's it for now. Okay, y'all. Uh, um, it is 5.21 a.m. Um, I'm definitely in labor. The, um, contractions are pretty bad now. Um, not as bad. Maybe they'll get worse. I don't know. But they're not, like, as bad. As I expected them to be or as you know people usually describe um, I slept on and off through them some of them kind of woke me up out of my sleep but not enough to like get up get up I kind of just you know breathed through and then went back to sleep like it wasn't like excruciating to the point where I was just like oh no I can't sleep um, but now it's 521 and I figured that I should get up at this point and try to like walk around. So I've been walking around for like the last hour. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having one right now. Um, I can still kind of talk through it. But it does kind of force you to breathe. Like it kind of force you to take deep breaths. Um, it feels more like a a period cramp with like a sharp pain sensation in your like service area I do feel a significant amount of pressure but it's only during the contraction once the contraction is over the pressure kind of goes away so that's where I am um, I'm about to call my midwife in a second and let her know what's happening because my contractions are about two and a half minutes apart a minute long for the last hour. I'm about to give her a call and let her know that um, I'm gonna be on my way probably like in the next hour or so. Um, the place is like 45 minutes away from here, so I'm gonna try not to take too long getting ready. All of our beds are packed and everything, but I just wanna, you know, I'm gonna shower again and put on something warm because it's freezing outside for some reason today. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna be on our way.